All right, on this, I wanted to just quickly go through uh, my setup for a four-way switch using the Leviton Smart Switch and the accompanying Leviton uh, coordinating switches. I had no luck in finding any kind of help on online or on YouTube with the four-way setup. There was a number of helpful things on, the, on a three-way setup, but not on a four. And I just was struggling to get this thing figured out. So here's uh, my main junction box uh, where the power comes in. And I'm going to drop in a, a short snippet of the, the switches that I'm using. Okay, in this installation, I've got a four-way switch, which is the one located here, controlling a sconce at the top of the stairs, and then one at each end of the short hallway at the top of the stairs. And there is an accompanying switch outside of each bedroom. So here at the bottom, I have the Leviton DD-OSR-1Z. It is the unlighted version. And put the box down. We can see it's got the common, the yellow-red connection on one side. And on the other, it has the, the white, the red, and then the ground screw. We go up the stairs. Outside of this bedroom with one sconce, I have the DDOSR DLZ, which is the lighted version. And it is kind of dark, but there is the common screw, the uh, yellow red. And on the other side is the white and the ground. And there's the uh, locator light. On this end, this wire is just going to go to the, the sconce. I have the main uh, smart switch here. And it is, again, the D215S. all by Leviton. Um, I've used a number of these before, but this is the first time I've done a four-way switch. So it has the uh, black, red, the yellow red, the white, and then the ground. The connection part of all this has befuddled me for way longer than I would like to admit. Uh, so The, the black wire coming from upstairs comes in to here. The black going out on the load connects to the red. The whites, again, all tied together. And on these Leviton smart switches, I've found you absolutely have to have the, the white connected uh, to, the, to the switch itself. You cannot just tie it together in the back of the box. Uh, and then the, the red coming out uh, from the other switch will go to the yellow red on the smart switch. Back at my middle one, I've got both of the blacks uh, coming from downstairs and going to the final location. Both of the blacks tied in at the top, both of the reds tied in on the yellow red both of the whites on the white post, and then our lovely ground screw. And once again, back down at the base of the stairs. This black on the red screw 
is the black wire going uh, upstairs as part of my, my three wire bundle. Uh, on the other side, the black on top is the uh, line coming from the box downstairs. The red is the traveler going upstairs. And then the white, I've just got a pigtail here to tie it into uh, my, my white bundle, but it is connected and then the ground. So uh, I do have uh, good working lights and I've just tied in a, a temporary bulb that I can turn off and on at all of my locations and it works as it's supposed to. None of the switches are a dummy in the, in the line. And I had trouble finding uh, the smart switch set up in a four-way configuration, uh, the Leviton variety anyway, anywhere online, YouTube. So I thought I would make uh, a quick video of my setup and I hope that's helpful for someone else.